Hello, my friends. Our topic is managing blames. My friends, are you facing pressure and problems from your family members or from your work manager just because of somebody else's mistakes? Are you losing your money, your time and energy just because somebody's mistakes? Or are you really frustrated upon your extended families just because they are unable to manage their lives properly and now you have to carry the cross for them? Our devotion comes to us from Revelation 12 verse 13. Now, when the dragon saw that he had been cast to the earth, he persecuted the women who gave birth to the male child. My friends, the climax of Revelation 12 is in 13th verse. That Satan is trying to punish and persecute you and me just because he has been cast out or lost in the battle with Jesus Christ. My friends, are you blamed for somebody's mistakes? Are you pushed to accept the punishment of somebody's else wrongdoings, how to manage the wrong blames, how to manage or how to handle when somebody blame you wrongly. Bible encourages you with three motivational points. Number one, Job 23, 3 to 5. Listen clearly and explain calmly. My friends, when your spouse or when your manager blame you for what you have not done, just listen to the accusation very clearly and explain your case calmly and silently. Your anger sometimes will prove you are guilty or suspect. Your frustration may take you to different problems. Just wait what exactly they are trying to say. The more you are accused or blamed wrongly, your conscience will motivate you how honest and true you are in your life. Number two, Matthew chapter 5, 11 and 12. Rejoice as God knows. My friends, if you are blamed for what you have not done, just be calm. Do not retaliate. Don't get angry, don't cry, and do not be frustrated as you will learn many lessons of life through such blames. You are not the first to pass through this road. Even Jesus went through your road. But eventually, today, the world regrets for blaming him. Just remember, God is very near to you. And God knows your sincerity and honesty. And he will grant you strength to endure it. Number three, Genesis chapter 22, verse 12. Truth will always win. My friends, you may be blamed wrongly today. But as long as you exposed and exercised your patience, the truth will come out somehow. The truth cannot be hidden. Your silence, your sweet responses, and your amicable explanation will make you win your case eventually. Though thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand may fall at your right side, but it will not come even near to you. Here is the hope for you today from Matthew 5, 11 and 12. Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad because great is your reward in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Don't worry, my friends. God knows you. Let's pray. Heavenly God, thank you so much. You are always with us even when we are blamed wrongly. There is somebody here 
really upset and frustrated because they are blamed wrongly. They are accused of what they did not do. Please, dear Lord, encourage them, motivate them that you will bring them to victory one day and you will help them to get the truth out one day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you.